Good afternoon, one and all. In the last class, we discussed with gradient, normal vector, unit normal vector, directional derivatives. Today, I will continue directional derivative problems. Find the angle between the tangent to the curve. R vector is equal to t minus t cube divided by 3 i cap plus t squared j cap plus t plus t cube by 3 k cap at t equal to plus r minus 3. So, here r vector is given. Now, we have to differentiating with respect to t dr vector by dt dr vector by dt equals t cube the t differentiation is 1 minus t cube differentiation is 3 t squared into i cap plus uh, t square differentiation is 2 t j cap plus t differentiation is 1 plus t square t t cube differentiation is 3 t square by 3 into k cap. Here 3 and 3 will get cancelled. Here 3 and 3 will get cancelled. It becomes 1 minus t square i cap plus 2 t j cap plus 1 plus t square k cap. This is dr vector by dt. When they given condition at t equal to plus or minus 3, t is equal to 3. When t equal to 3, t equal to 3, that is dr vector by dt at t equal to 3 equals then 1 minus 9 i cap plus 6 j cap plus 1 plus 9 into k cap. So, here 1 minus 9 or oh, that is 1 minus 9 is minus 8 i cap plus 6 j cap plus 10 k cap. This is calls equation 1. This is when dr vector by dt at t equal to 3. Similarly, dr vector by dt at t equal to minus 3. Then t equal to minus 3, again that is 1 minus 9 i cap minus 6 j cap 1 plus 9 k cap. Here 1 minus 9 is minus 8 i cap minus 6 j cap plus 10 k cap calls equation 2. Now, we want to find out the uh, cos theta. Cos theta equals t1 dot t2 divided by modulus of t1 into modulus of t2. Then this is equal to t1 value is minus 8 i vector plus 6 j vector plus 10 k vector into dot minus 8 i vector plus minus 6 j vector plus 10 k vector whole divided by modulus of t1 means square root of my 8 square plus 6 square plus 10 square then square root of 8 square plus 6 square plus 10 square this is equal to minus i dot i is 1 minus into minus plus 8 into 8 is 64 next j dot j is 1 minus into plus is minus 36 plus k dot k is 10 into 10 is 100 divided by square root of 64 here 36 here 100 you get 200 root 200 into root 200 is equal to 64 minus 36 plus 100 is equal to 128 divided by 200 because root and root will go then 128 divided by 200 is 16 divided by 25 this is the required result. Next problem is find the directional derivative of phi is equal to x squared y z plus 4 x z square at 1 comma minus 2 comma 1 along the direction 2 i vector minus j vector minus 2 k vector. First in this problem you have to find out the gradient of phi. Gradient of phi you have to differentiating partially with respect to x. What do you get? Dou phi by dou x is equal to dou phi by dou x equals
So, first you can find out gradient of phi is equal to dou phi by dou x i cap, dou phi by dou y j cap plus dou phi by dou z k cap. We have to write it. Now, we have to find out uh, dou phi by dou x. If you are differentiating partially with respect to x, phi is given x squared y z plus 4 x z square. That is a differentiating partially with respect to x, you get a 2 x y z, 2 x y z plus 4 z square into i cap plus similarly differentiating partially with respect to y, y differentiation is 1 x squared z remain x squared z into j cap. Then differentiating partially with respect to z is x squared y plus 8 xz, x squared y plus 8 xz into k vector. This is gradient of phi. Then the given point is 1 comma minus 2 comma 1. Then gradient of phi 1 comma minus 2 comma 1 equals if you substitute x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 1, z is equal to 1, you get 8 i cap, first comp i component. Similarly, put x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 2, z is equal to 1, you get minus j cap. Next, similarly, put x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 2, z is equal to 1, you get minus 10 k cap, calls equation 1. This is gradient of uh, phi at the point 1 comma minus 2 comma 1. Now, the given direction, direction is 2i vector minus j vector minus 2k vector that you can find out the um, unit vector a cap is equal to a vector divided by modulus of a vector. The given um, direction can be taken as a vector that is i vector 2i vector minus j vector minus 2k vector, this is a vector, then modulus of a vector means square root of 2 squared plus 1 whole squared plus 2 whole squared. This is equal to 2i vector minus j vector minus 2k vector, square root of 2 squared is 4 plus 1 plus 4, 4 plus 4 plus is root 9, root 9 can be written as 3, this is equal to 2i vector minus j vector minus 2k vector divided by 3. Here calls equation 2. Now, you have to find out the directional derivative. Directional derivative formula is gradient of phi dot a cap. Gradient of phi value is 8i vector minus j vector minus 10k vector dot. Then, what do you get? I, a cap is 2i vector minus j vector minus 2 k vector divided by 3. Now, you can apply the dot product 1 by 3 take outside i dot i is 1 that is 2 into 8 is 16, j dot j is 1 that is minus into minus plus 1, k dot k is 1 minus into minus plus then 20, then you get 37 divided by 3, this is the required result, this is the direction derivative of the given problem. Next, find the directional derivative of phi of x comma y comma z is equal to 2 x squared y cube z to the power of 4 at 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 in the direction of i vector plus 2 j vector minus 2 k vector. Now, you have to first you can write the formula, gradient of phi formula, I can write it, gradient of phi is equal to dou phi by dou x i cap plus dou phi by dou y j cap plus dou phi by dou z k cap, this is the gradient of phi formula. Now, what is given phi is equal to phi of x comma y comma z is equal to a 2 x squared, 2 x squared y cube z to the power of 4. Now, you can differentiating partially with respect to x, what do you get? Dou phi by dou x is equal to 4 x y cube z to the power of 4. Similarly, differentiating partially with respect to y, then dou phi by dou y is equal to here 2 x squared z to the power of 4 is constant, y cube differentiation is 3 y squared, then 3 into 2 6 x squared y squared z to the power of 4. Again, similarly, you can differentiating partially with respect to y, dou phi by dou z, see here if you 2 x squared y cube is constant, z to the power of 4 differentiation is 4 into z cube, 4 into 2 is 8, 8 x squared y cube z cube, this is the okay, gradient of dou phi by dou x, dou phi by dou y, dou phi by dou z, you can substitute in these equations. This equals 
फोर एक्स वाई क्यूब जट टू द पॉर फोर आई कैप प्लस सिक्स एक्स स्क्वायर वाई स्क्वायर जट टू द पॉर फोर जे कैप प्लस एट एक्स स्क्वायर वाई क्यूब जट क्यूब इंटू के कैप आफ्टर गेटिंग ग्रेडियंट ऑफ आई नाउ कैन सब शूट द पॉइंट एट द पॉइंट ग्रेडियंट ऑफ फाइव एट द पॉइंट वन कामा माइनस वन कामा वन पुट टेक्स इज इक्वल टू वन वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन जेड इज इक्वल टू वन द आई कॉम्पोनेंट इज माइनस फोर आई वैक्टर नेक्स्ट पुट एक्स इक्वल टू वन वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन जेड इज इक्वल टू वन द जेड जे कॉम्पोनेंट इज सिक्स जे वैक्टर सिमिलरली पुट टेक्स इज इक्वल टू वन वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस जेड इज इक्वल टू वन द के कॉम्पोनेंट इज माइनस एट के वैक्टर कॉल्स इक्वेशन वन दिस इज gradient of phi at the point 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 the direction is given what is the direction is a vector is equal to i vector my plus 2j vector minus 2k vector is given i vector plus 2j vector minus 2k vector is given now we have to find out the a k a cap unit vector a cap is equal to a vector divided by modulus of a vector then a vector is i vector plus 2j vector minus 2k vector divided by square root of i coefficient is 1 squared j coefficient is 2 squared k coefficient is minus 2 squared now this is equal to i vector plus 2j vector minus 2k vector square root of 1 plus 4 plus 4 then 4 plus 4 is now what do you get 9 9 that is root 3 then i vector plus 2j vector minus 2k vector divided by 3 cos equation 2 now we have to find out the gradient of uh, directional derivative means gradient of phi dot a cap and right, gradient of phi gradient of phi dot a cap a equals that is directional derivative gradient of phi at the point Uh, one comma minus one comma one is uh, what you get? That is uh, min minus four i vector minus four i vector plus six j vector minus eight k vector dot a cap is i vector plus two j vector minus two k vector divided by three one by three take outside i vector i vector dot i vector is one that is minus four into one is Minus four. Next, j dot j is one. That is six into two is twelve. Next, k dot k is one. Then minus eight into minus into minus plus plus sixteen. Then this is equal to then sixteen plus two minus four you know, divided by three is you get twenty four by three. That is equal to eight. This is the directional derivative. Next, find the directional derivative of Phi of x comma y comma z equals x squared y z plus x z square at one comma minus two comma one in the direction of two i vector minus j vector minus two k vector. So here again you have to write the formula. What is the formula? Find the directional derivative is gradient of phi dot a cap. Now we have to find out gradient of phi. Gradient of phi formula can write it. Then do phi by do x i vector plus do phi by do y j vector plus do phi by do z k vector. First, we can differentiating the given function. Differentiating partially with respect to x. If differentiating partially with respect to x is what you get? That is uh, do phi by do x is equal to two x y z, two x y z plus z square into I y I cap. Next, differentiating partial with respect to y is that is plus x squared z into j cap plus differentiating partial with respect to z is x squared y plus two z x into k cap. Now at the point is y minus one comma two comma one gradient of phi. Minus one comma two comma one point. Put x is equal to minus one, y is equal to two, z is equal to one. You get three i vector in the j, j, j component. That is j plus j vector. Next, the uh, k component is zero zero into k vector. This is calls equation one. Similarly, you can find out your uh, direction is given. Direction is a vector is equal to two i vector minus j vector minus two k vector. Then you can find out the a cap. 
a cap is unit vector, a cap is equal to a vector divided by modulus of a vector, then 2i vector minus j vector minus 2k vector divided by square root of 2 square plus minus 1 whole square minus 2 whole square, this is equal to 2i vector minus j vector plus 2k vector divided by square root of 4 plus 1 plus 4, this is equal to 2i vector minus j vector plus 2k vector divided by root 9 can be written as 3 calls equation 2. Now, you can take dot product gradient of phi dot a cap is a directional derivative. Gradient of phi dot a cap is equal to here what you get 3i vector plus j vector plus 0k vector 2i vector minus j vector plus 2k vector divided by 3. You can take out 1 by 3 outside i dot i is 1 3 into 2 is 6 j dot j is 1, then 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. This is minus 3 i vector, then this one minus 6, minus 6 and minus 1 is minus 7 by 3, this is the required answer. Next, if phi is equal to x z divided by x square plus y square, find the direction derivative at 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 in the direction a vector is equal to i vector minus 2 j vector plus k. See and now, you have to find out the directional derivative means the gradient of phi dot a cap. The first you can write the gradient of phi. Gradient of phi is equal to uh, dou phi by dou x i cap plus dou phi by dou y j cap plus dou phi by dou z k cap. Now, you can differentiating partially with respect to x and find out dou phi by dou x. So, here the given function is phi is equal to x z divided by x square plus y square. If you differentiating partially with respect to x dou phi by dou x, you can use u by u method then x square plus y square whole square then x square plus y square into here a z is constant x differentiation is 1 minus x z into here x square difference 2 x y square is 0 then this becomes z x square z plus y square z minus 2 x square z divided by x square plus y square whole square this is equal to minus 2 x square z plus x square z is minus x square z plus y square z divided by x square plus y square whole square. This is gradient of phi. You can substitute here what you get minus x square z plus y square z divided by x square plus y square whole square into i cap. Similarly, you can differentiating partially with respect to y. If you differentiating partially with respect to y, what do you get? Dou phi by dou y, dou phi by dou y is equal to square root of x square plus y square whole square, then x square plus y square into x z. x z is here differentiating partially with respect to x is there is no y term 0 minus x z into here x square difference 0, y square difference is 2 y, then this becomes minus 2 x z y divided by x square plus y square whole square. This is dou, dou phi by dou y you can substitute, what you get minus 2 x z y divided by x square plus y square whole square into j cap. Next again differentiating partially with respect to y, differentiating partially with respect to y is uh, z dou phi by dou z equals dou phi by dou z equals here x divided by x square plus y square is constant z differentiation 1, this is the um, dou phi by dou z. Now, you can substitute here plus x divided by x square plus y square into k cap. Now, this is gradient of phi. After finding gradient of phi, now you can substitute the point 1 comma minus 1 comma 1. Gradient of phi at 1 comma minus 1 comma 1, you can substitute x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 1, z is equal to 1, you get uh, 0 vector plus put x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus, z is equal to the 1, you can substitute, you get um, uh, 2 by 4 j cap. Next, x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 1, z is equal to 1, you get 1 by 2 
k cap. This is equal to was 0 i vector plus 1 by 2 j vector plus 1 by 2 k vector calls equation 1. This is gradient of i at the point 1 comma minus 1 comma 1. Now, we have to find out the a cap. A cap is a vector, the direction is given a vector is equal to i vector minus 2 j vector plus k vector, this is a vector. Now, you can find out a cap, a cap is equal to a vector divided by modulus of a vector, that is i vector minus 2 j vector plus k vector divided by square root of i coefficient is 1 square plus j coefficient is minus 2 whole square, k coefficient is 1 square. This is equal to i vector minus 2 j vector plus k vector divided by square root of 1 plus 4 plus 1. This is equal to i vector minus 2 j vector plus k vector divided by root 6. You get the required result. This is a cap. See, now we have to find out gradient of phi dot a cap that is directional derivative formula. Directional derivative means gradient of phi dot a cap. Gradient of phi dot a cap means gradient of phi at the point 1 comma minus 1 comma uh, 1 is 1 by 2 j cap plus 1 by 2 k cap. Then dot a cap, a cap is i vector, i vector minus 2j vector plus k vector divided by square root of 6. Now, you can take out 1 by root 6, i dot i, there is no i that is 0, j dot j is 1, then minus 2 by 1 into 1 is you get minus 1, then k dot k is plus 1 by 2, then minus 1 plus 1 by 2 is minus 1 by 2 root 6, this is the required result, this is the dire directional derivative gradient of i dot a cap is minus 1 by 2 into root 6. Next, if the directional derivative of phi is equal to a x y square plus b y z plus c z square x cube at the point p minus 1 comma 1 comma 2 has a maximum magnitude of 32 units in the direction parallel to the y axis, find a b c. See here it is here the phi is given and the point also is given minus 1 comma 1 comma 2 and the maximum magnitude of 32 units in the direction of parallel to y axis is given. When we were in, uh, find a b c, our intention is to find the a value, b value, c value. First we can write gradient of phi formula, gradient of phi is equal to dou phi by dou x i cap plus dou phi by dou y j cap plus dou phi by dou z k cap. Now, we can differentiating partially with respect to x given problem that is if you differentiating partially with respect to x what you get a y squared a y squared plus 3 c z square x squared 3 c z square x squared into i cap. If you differentiating partially with respect to a y then what you get 2 a x y 2 a x y plus uh, b z into j cap plus similarly differentiating partially with respect to z is b y plus c 2 c z 2 c z x cube into k cap. This is gradient of phi. Then what is the given point is gradient of phi at 1 minus 1 comma 1 comma 2 equals you have to substitute x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 1, z is equal to 2, then you get a plus 12 c into i cap. Again you can substitute in j component, put x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 1, z is equal to 2, you get plus minus 2 a plus 2 b into j cap. Next third component, j k component, if you put x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 1, z is equal to 2, what you get? You get b plus 4 c into k cap. This is gradient of phi at the point minus 1 comma 1 comma 2, here calls equation 1. It is given that the directional derivative of phi at p has a maximum magnitude of 32 in the direction parallel to the y axis. That is gradient of phi 
is parallel to 30 maximum, maximum magnitude of 32 is in the direction parallel to y axis means this is 32 into um, j 32 into j cos equation 2. So, now comparing equation 1 and 2 see here in a compare i coefficient is a plus 12 c i coefficient is a plus 12 c in gradient of the equation 2 there is no i component equal to 0. See here, here the gradient of i this equation j component is minus 2 a plus 2 b is equal to j component is 32. Next k component is b plus 4 c is equal to there is no in equation 2 there is no k term that is 0. See here a plus 12 c equal to 0 minus 2 a plus 2 b is equal to that of 2 you can divide throughout the equation by 2 what you get minus a plus b is equal to 16 minus a plus b is equal to 16 then b plus 4, 4 b plus 4 c equal to 0. Now, you can solving these three equation you get the required result. So, here if you solving these two equation and these two equation you get a is equal to uh, 4 a is equal to minus 12 b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 1. You can solving these three equation you get the value is c is equal to 1 a is equal to minus 12 b is equal to 4 this is the required result. Find the maximum directional derivative of log of x square plus y square plus z square at the point 1 comma 1 comma 1. The maximum directional derivative of phi is uh, mod modulus of gradient of phi, modulus of gradient of phi. First you can find out gradient of phi. Gradient of phi formula is dou phi by dou x i vector plus dou phi by dou g, dou phi by dou y j vector plus dou phi by dou z k vector. Now, you have to find out dou phi by dou x and dou phi by dou y and dou phi by dou z. What is given problem is phi is equal to log of x square plus y square plus z square. This is the given problem. If differentiating partially with respect to x is dou phi by dou x is equal to 1 divided by x square plus y square z square. If you differentiating log of x square plus y square plus z square is 1 divided by x square plus y square plus z square, then x square differentiation is 2x, y square is 0, z square is 0. This is equal to 2x divided by x square plus y square plus z square. Similarly, you can write dou phi by dou y. If you differentiating partially with respect to y, you get 2y divided by x square plus y square plus z square because with respect to y x square is 0, z square is 0, y square is 2y remaining as it is. Similarly, differentiating partially with respect to z is dou phi by dou z is equal to 2z divided by x square plus y square plus z square. So, here after getting dou phi by dou x value, dou phi by dou y value, dou phi by dou z value, you can substitute in the uh, gradient of phi formula that is 2x divided by x square plus y square plus z square i cap, 2y divided by x square plus y square plus z square j cap plus 2z divided by x square plus y square plus z square into k cap. This is gradient of phi. What is the given condition at the point 1 comma 1 comma 1? Now, you can substitute put x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1 and z is equal to 1. Gradient of phi 1 comma 1 comma 1 is what you get here 2 by 3 i cap plus 2 by 3 j cap plus 2 by 3 k cap this is gradient of phi at the point. Now, you have to find out maximum directional derivative means you have to find out modulus of gradient of phi. Modulus of gradient of phi means square root of i coefficient is 2 by 3 whole square plus j coefficient is 2 by 3 whole square plus k coefficient is 2 by 3 whole square. Now, square root of 2 by 3 whole square plus 2 by 3 whole square 2 by 3 whole square it becomes square root of 4 by 9 plus 4 by 9 plus 4 by 9 this is equal to you can write 6 by 3 equal to 2 this is the required result. Next find the directional derivative find the angle between find the angle between the surface 
find the angle between the surfaces x squared y z plus 3 x z square is equal to 5 and x squared y z cube is equal to 2 at the point 1 comma minus 2 comma minus 1. Now, you can find out. So, first you can write the gradient of 5. Gradient of 5 means you can take S 1 and S 2 because they are given two surfaces. First surface is x squared y z x squared y z plus 3 x z square is equal to c uh, is equal to 5 and another uh, surface is given x squared y x squared y z cube is equal to 2 at the point 1 comma minus 2 comma minus 1. Now, first you can find out this is first surface you can take S 1, second surface you can take S 2. Now, you can find out gradient of phi. S 1 is equal to gradient of phi equals if you differentiating partial with respect to x, what do you get here 2 x y z here 3 z square into i cap plus if you differentiating partial with respect to y is x squared z into j cap plus if you differentiating partial with respect to z is x squared y plus 6 x z 6 x z into k cap this is s 1. Now, you can substitute the point what you get a gradient of phi at the point 1 comma minus 2 comma minus 1. If you substitute x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 2, z is equal to minus 1, you get 7 i cap minus j cap minus 8 k cap calls equation 1. Similarly, you can find out the um, s 2 that is you can take s 2, you can find out gradient of psi you can because another function the gradient of psi is equal to if you differentiating partial with respect to x that is dou psi by dou x is 2 x y z cube 2 x y z cube i cap plus if you differentiating partial with respect to y is that is x square z cube j cap then differentiating partial with respect to uh, z is 3 x cube 3 x square y z square into k cap. Now, at the point gradient of psi at the point 1 comma minus 2 comma minus 1, if you substitute you get 4 i vector minus j vector minus 6 k vector calls equation 2. Now, you have to find out the angle between the surfaces means cos theta equals gradient of phi dot gradient of psi divided by the modulus of gradient of phi into modulus of gradient of psi. See so, now gradient of phi dot um, uh, gradient of phi dot gradient of psi gradient of phi value is 7 i cap minus j cap minus 8 k cap dot 4 i cap minus j cap minus 6 k cap divided by square root of square root of that is 7 squared that is 49 plus 1 plus 64 similarly square root of 16 plus 1 plus 36 then this is equal to i dot i is 1 that is 7 into 4 is 28 then this is equal to 28 cos theta equals 28 because i dot i is 1 7 into 4 is 48 j dot j is 1, you get 1 into 1 is plus 1, then k dot k is 1, then minus into minus plus 86 of 48 plus 48 whole divided by square root of 49 plus 1 is that is 64, you get root 114, then square root of 16 uh, plus 1 plus 36 is you get root 53, this is the required result. Next next topic is divergence of a vector functions. If a vector is equal to a 1 i vector plus a 2 j vector plus a 3 k vector is a vector point function defined and differentiable at each point x comma y comma z. Then divergence of a vector is denoted by divergent of a or del dot of a vector and is, and is defined as uh, divergent of a is equal to 
del dot a vector is equal to do a1 by do x plus do a2 by do y plus do a3 by do z. Hence, divergence of a vector function is a scalar function. Next, physical meaning of the uh, physical meaning is if a vector represents the velocity of a fluid in a fluid flow, then divergent of a represents the rate of fluid flow through unit volume. Next, solenoidal vector. A vector f a vector a is said to be a solenoidal vector or divergence free vector if divergent of a equal to 0 or del dot of a vector equal to 0. Then uh, solenoidal vector means the, you have to uh, di del dot a vector equal to 0 is called the solenoidal vector. Next, curl of a vector function. If a vector is any vector point function differentiable at each point x comma y comma z, then curl of a vector is denoted by curl of a or del cross of a and it is defined by curl of a, uh, curl of a vector is equal to del cross of a vector. See here, this is curl of a vector means See here, del, del is differential operator dou x by dou i vector, dou by dou y j vector, dou by dou z k vector, this is del. Then a vector, a vector means you get a 1 i vector plus a 2 j vector plus a 3 k vector, this is a del, del is this differential operator, a vector is a 1 i vector plus a 2 j vector plus a 3 k vector. Now, you can take the cross product means del cross a del cross a vector means determinant. See here i j k can write i cap j cap k cap. Then remaining is dou by dou x, dou by dou y, dou by dou z. Then here a vector component is a 1, a 2, a 3. Now, you can expand determinant expand this is plus minus plus. If you determinant expansion what you get this is equal to first i cap. So, leave the first row and first column dou by dou, by dou y of a 3, dou a 3 by dou y minus dou a 2 by dou z. That means, you can leave the i row and i column then dou by dou y of a 3 minus dou by dou z of a 2. Similarly, minus j cap, you can leave the first row and the second column then dou by dou x that is dou a 3 by dou x minus dou a 1 by dou z plus k cap, k vector is equal to leave the first row and third column dou by dou x of a 3, a 2 minus dou by dou y of a 1. So, here you can leave the first row and third column dou by dou x of a 2 minus of dou by dou y of a 1. This is the definition of the curl of a vector. Hence, the curl of a vector function is a vector. Irrotational vector or conservative force field or potential field. A vector field A vector is said to be irrotational vector or a conservative force field or potential uh, field or curl fo force vector if del cross A vector equal to 0. Next, scalar potential a vector field a vector which can be derived from the scalar field phi such that f is equal to gradient of phi is called the conservative force field and phi is called the scalar potential. See, first we can solve the problem. Show that f vector is equal to x i vector plus y j vector divided by x square plus y square is both solenoidal and irrotational. That means, you have to you have to show that divergent of f vector equal to 0 and curl of f vector equal to 0, you have to show that then it is called solenoidal and irrotational. So, here you have to find out divergent of a f means, first you can write the formula, divergent of f vector equals divergent of f vector equals dou f 1 by dou x plus dou f 2 by dou y plus dou f 3 by dou z. Each component you have to write f 1, f 2, f 3. So, what is the given problem is f vector is equal to x i cap plus y j cap divided by x square plus y square. 
first you can differentiating partially with respect to x what do you get if you differentiating partially with respect to x then do f x do f by do f 1 by do x because i component x divided by this only you have to take if you differentiating partially with respect to x what do you get here u by u method x squared plus y squared whole squared then x squared plus y squared x differentiation is 1 minus x into x squared difference is 2 x and y squared is 0. Here minus 2 x squared plus x squared is minus x squared plus y squared divided by x squared plus y squared whole squared this is do f 1 by do x. Similarly, differentiating partially with respect to a y component that is a y divided by x squared plus y squared then do f 2 by do y equals here x squared plus y squared whole squared then x squared plus y squared into y differentiation is 1 minus y into 2y minus 2y squared plus y squared you get x squared minus y squared divided by x squared plus y squared whole squared this is do f 2 by do y. So, here the, in the third do f you have to differentiating do f 3 by do z there is no z component that is 0 this is the code you can substitute here do f 1 by do x is minus x squared plus y squared divided by x squared plus y squared whole squared plus here do f 2 by do y is x squared minus y squared divided by x squared plus y squared whole squared then do f 3 by do z there is a um, no z term that is uh, k component that is 0 this is equal to you can take LCM x squared plus y squared whole squared then minus x squared plus y squared plus x squared minus y squared minus x squared plus x squared minus will get cancel you get 0 and that uh, hence divergent of f factor equal to 0 hence it is a solenoidal. Now, you have to find out curl f factor is irrotational. Now, you can find out the curl f factor curl f factor can be written as curl f factor is equal to determined curl f factor means del cross f factor del cross f factor is equal to i vector j cap k cap then do by do x do by do y do by do z then what is the x component that is f1 component is x divided by x square plus y square it is given the problem that is x divided by x square plus y square into i cap means i coefficient is x divided by x square plus y square. Similarly, j component coefficient is y divided by x square plus y square there is no k component that is 0 you can take. Now, you can write this is plus minus plus determinant expansion this is equal to i vector you can leave the first row and first column do by do i of this 0. Next minus of do by do z of do by minus do by do z of this y divided by x square plus y square close the bracket minus j vector open the bracket you can leave the first row second column do by do x of 0 minus do by do z of x divided by x square plus y square close the bracket plus k vector you can leave the first row and third column then do by do x of y divided by x square plus y square minus do by do y of x divided by x square plus y square. See here, here this is 0 here what you get here? 0 here so with respect to z there is no z term this is also 0 completely 0 here there is no z term here also z uh, there is no z term this is also 0 then plus 0 j vector also here differentiating with respect to x differentiating with respect to x means u by u method what you get y is constant that is what do you get if you differentiating partially with respect to x y divided by x square plus y square can be written as minus 2 y x divided by x square plus y square whole square. Next this minus again differentiating partially with respect to y y term is there if you differentiating partially with respect to y you get minus 2 x y divided by x square plus y square whole square here minus into minus is become plus here minus is there then both the term will get cancelled equal to 0 this is 
curl of effect equal to 0, hence it is irrotational. The given function is irrotational. Both the given function is both uh, solenoidal and irrotational because the uh, divergent of f yeah, divergent of effect equal to 0 and curl of effect equal to 0, the both the functions are um, solenoidal and irrotational. Next problem, find the constants a, b, c such that the vector f vector is equal to sin y uh, plus a z into i vector plus b x cos y plus z into j vector plus x plus c y k vector is irrotational. So, now you have to find out the a, b, c, then you have to show the given function is irrotational. Then how to find out the irrotational? Right. Curl effector. Curl effector equals curl effector equals del cross effector equals determine i vector j vector k vector dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z. Now, what is the given condition is so the f factor is sin y plus a z sin y plus a z this is sin y plus a z here b x cos y plus z into next term is x plus c y this is i component, j component and k component. Now, you have to expand plus minus plus, then this is equal to i vector, here what you get leave the first row and first column dou by dou y of x plus c y, dou by dou y of x plus c y minus dou by dou z of b x cos y plus z this is close the bracket. Next minus j minus j vector minus j vector is equal to you can leave the first row and second column dou by dou x of x plus c y minus dou by dou z of sin y plus a into z. Next plus k cap you can leave the first row and third column dou by dou x of b x cos y plus z minus dou by dou y of sin y plus a into z. This is equal to i vector. Here if you differentiating partially with respect to x is 0, then c y means you get c because y differentiation is 1. Next minus if you differentiating partially with respect to z b x cos y is 0, then z differentiation is 1 you get 1 minus j vector. If you differentiating partial with respect to x is 1 minus differentiating partial with respect to z is a plus k vector. If you differentiating partial with respect to x, you get b cos. If you differentiating partial with respect to x, you get b cos y minus. If you differentiating partial with respect to y is with respect to y is you get sin y differentiation is cos y. So, here if you are differentiating, if you are put c is equal to 1 and a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1, you get the curl effect equal to 0 that is irrotational. What you get? If c equal to if c equal to 1, a equal to 1, b equal to 1, if you substitute a equal to 1, b is equal to 1, c is equal to 1, curl effect equal to 0, it is irrotational, then a value is 1, b value 1, c value is 1. Next, find the divergence and curl of a vector, find the divergence of a curl of a vector. See here, if f vector is equal to 3 x square y minus z i cap plus x z square plus y to the power of 4 j vector minus 2 x square z square k vector, find divergent of f vector means you know the divergent of f vector formula is dou f 1 by dou x plus dou f 2 by dou y plus dou f 3 by dou z. If you differentiating partially with respect to x is you get 6 x y plus 4, 4 y cube minus 4 x square z that is divergent. Similarly, curl of f vector you can uh, equal to determinant i j k dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z 3 x square y minus z 
x z square plus y to y to the power of 4 minus 2 x square z square. If you define you can expand it, determinant expansion, you get the required result that is curl f factor. Thank you. Any questions, please? If you ask any doubts, you can ask me or you can uh, uh, ask in the e email address also and phone number also. I will give one. You can uh, contact with the mail or to the next class also. Okay, thank you.